come on to the stage. Gusty Quinn and Joanne Morgan. a slight change in the tonight's programme. Unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances, Mr. Stavros Flatley and the son couldn't make it here tonight. However, 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 he assured me that they're sending the next best thing. So ladies and gentlemen, for one night only, please welcome Mrs. Bridget Stavros Flatley and her daughter.
Let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are, stay where you are, Joanne. For it, big. Hi, oh. you, have, you have what I would call in the business TB. <laughs> Two buttes. Oh. Oh. You okay? Are you? Oh. What's this here? Read it, let me see. I need to pull them up. What is the socks? Baby things. Does my bum look big in these, huh? <laughs> what I feel it. <laughs> Joanne, how did you manage with this here? It was a tough job, but somebody had to do it. <laughs> oh, he's a fantastic man, a pure gentleman. It's been a pleasure, so it has been. There you go. Do you hear the pumps? Is, is there a doctor in the house or anybody out of the night from Malta here? Are you alright? Right. What do you think of yourself, Dusty? Brilliant. I, I, just before I start, I'd like to thank Joanne for being my partner. Done well. We took a lot of training. I'd also like to thank Marie Ross for giving us the chance to get up here to make a fool of myself. And to the wife, uh, and she hasn't seen my half time as last six weeks was practice. But Eddie, just, just a chase, I have a wee song for you. And, and whenever I do that there, stop singing. All together now. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show Vote for us! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go over here. You're what I would call a protest singer. <laughs> Every time he gets up and sings, people get up and protest. So that, uh, <laughs> Norman Wisdom couldn't have said it for his dad. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's hear it from the judges. The well, first thing I'd say, that was hilarious. <laughs> Gusty and Joanne, you put plenty of effort in there. Gusty, I never thought you would look as well in a tutu. <laughs> the, the music really suited you tonight. Um, I hope that these tutus don't rub off onto the sixth throne Cub Scouts. <laughs> Joanne, you were very graceful as ever. I've seen you in practice. so. Very well done, and I wish you all the best. All right, Eddie. Two. Uh, absolutely, I concur with everything uh, our council chairman friend John has just said. Absolutely fantastic, great value for money, folks. If I could, if I may, MC, if I could. Uh, Joanne, I see on your blog, you're a teacher training college at St Mary's University in Belfast, is that true? <laughs> Joanne, you will never have to contend with as unruly a pupil in your entire car teaching career as what you have contended with tonight. Well done. <laughs> and finally, 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 Gusty, change the name, change the letters about, because there's nothing gusty about that. That was absolutely gutsy. Superb. Okay, big moment, big moment now, lads. Let's see the scores for Gusty and Joanne. A nine, a ten, a nine. There we are. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Gusty Quinn and Joanne Morgan.